True crime is bigger than ever, but have you ever wondered why? And more importantly, what is all that death and murder doing to our brains? Today we're gonna to be getting down to the bottom of it, and what better way to start off than by watching some? You just like my mom. Jeez. By the way, you do know just how big true crime is, right? I mean, six out of the top 10 podcasts right now are true crime related. Six out of 10, that's insane. And between that and the constant stream of Netflix documentaries like this new Jeffrey Dahmer doc and the endless YouTube videos, us true crime fans are eating good. But why is it so popular? Well, for that, we've got to look inward. Okay, just pretend I'm a psychologist. Turns out there's a metric ton of reasons why we like true crime so much. For example, it lets us examine the darker sides of humanity from a safe distance, and it provides us insight into how killers think so that we know how to better protect ourselves. It lets us live out our dark fantasies without any repercussions. Could you get away with it? And on the flip side, it exploits our natural desire for problem solving. If you were assigned the case, could you suss out the killer? It taps into our natural desire for justice. Will he get punished? and our desire to understand the unknown. What will happen next? But most importantly of all, it taps into our most primal instinct, fear. Just listening to true crime triggers the same amount of adrenaline spikes that skydiving does, just without the risk of, you know, dying. But our brain doesn't know that, and the high we get from that rush can be just as powerful and addictive. But what exactly is that doing to our brains? Now, I'm no neuroscientist, but it's super interesting to see what true crime does to our brains. I've heard it explained almost like exposure therapy, and that it helps us face our fears and maybe even heal our traumas. But there's also the conflicting idea that it causes us to normalize murder and grow used to it. Maybe even crave it. But that's just the same argument that violent video games cause people to become violent. A bunch of baloney. Right? It certainly is the case though that people who consume a lot of true crime content tend to think there are more acts of extreme violence in everyday life, which isn't true. Most people live pretty boring lives. But that begs the question though, is this all good? Like morally? The morals and ethics of true crime absolutely fascinates me. I mean, if you think about it, true crime is literally profiting off of others' misfortunes. Just like how I profit off of your love when you hit that subscribe button. Speaking of no morals, but like I was saying, these shows and podcasts get paid real good money for turning the worst experience of a person's life into an entertaining narrative. And the gross part is, many podcasts often feature home security sponsors. I mean, that's kind of preying on people's fears, right? And then there's this whole idea of glorifying killers instead of honoring victims. I mean, these cases aren't remembered as the murder of sweet Jane Doe that we all loved. They're remembered as Jack the Ripper, Dr. Death, the killer clown. People talk about their favorite serial killers like their Marvel superheroes. I mean, there's literally a podcast called My Favorite Murder. Favorite murder? That's kind of weird, right? And on top of all that, the families of these cases often have to repeatedly relive past trauma and even have fans accusing them of being the murderers themselves. For example, if someone brutally killed your sister in just the worst way possible, and then you had to relive being told how she died over and over, and that her killer has a high school fan club, and that, you know what, maybe it was actually you who killed her. I think you'd go crazy. Tough, tough, tough when it comes to morals. But you know, I still kind of like it. Let me know what side of the line you fall on and uh, check this video next for another question you've got to know the answer to. I'll see you there.